coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The government of St. Lucia is committed to restructuring the economy and putting it on a path of sustained and inclusive growth. To do this, government has outlined a medium-term development plan for 2019-2020. Prime Minister Alan Chastney detailed those plans as he made his budget presentation on Monday, April 15th. Six key priority areas include affordable access to quality health care, enrollment of 7,500 students in public, post-secondary or tertiary education and TVET programs, a 45% reduction in serious crimes, a 40% increase in tourist arrivals, increase in exports of bananas and cocoa, and in infrastructure, 99 kilometers of road, double airlift capacity, and 40% increase in cruise capacity. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority and the Ministry of Tourism have collaborated to enhance the offering of the Ancillary Seafood Festival. The training of 15 vendors and 30 vendors' assistants in culinary creativity and food presentation is underway. At the start of week 4 of 6, the 45 trainees were given the opportunity to demonstrate their newly acquired culinary skills at the site of the Seafood Festival. Following the Lenten season, the festival will get underway on Friday, April 26, 2019, where the general public will have the opportunity to experience a boost of flavours. The Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries is conducting a survey to get your views on the proposed improvements to the William Peter Boulevard. The aim of the project is to prepare design options to make the William Peter Boulevard more pedestrian friendly, including for the facade improvement program in the boulevard area. This survey is part of an environmental and social impact assessment that must be completed as part of the project. Enumerators will be approaching businesses, vendors and pedestrians on the boulevard between Tuesday 23rd of April and Tuesday 30th April 2019. The Government of St. Lucia values your opinions and therefore looks forward to your cooperation and support. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.